everyone this is Sharon and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to put together a card and I'm going to be using Uptown Sophie which is this image right here it's currently a free digital stamp that you can get through Facebook on the Sweet Nothing Stamp Company's Facebook page and um, I'm going to have the link underneath the description so um, you can go check it out if you'd like her and um, you want to get her for free because after November it's going to be going up for sale so you might want to take advantage of the fact that she's free now. I'm going to Copic color her skin and her hair and I'm going to try a few new things but I'm not an expert and everybody knows that but um, you know I just wanted to show you how she comes together so I'm probably going to be speeding up certain things of this video so you don't have to spend there you know a whole lot of time watching me color okay so let's get started um, I always work with some sort of paper underneath um, just in case you know my bleed my paper bleeds through I use Copic Express paper it's um, my favorite at the moment to use with my Copic marker so let me zoom in I'm going to start with her skin and I think I am going to give her tights but I'm not too sure just yet um, so I'm going to start with E00 let's hope I'm in frame here yeah. and I apologize if you hear a lawnmower in the background but no, there's nothing I can do about that. They're mowing the lawn for me, so. It is what it is. And, hmm, I think my light source is going to be coming this way, you know, from here. So the darker, darkest areas are going to be down here. Yeah. So now I'm going to take my E21 E00 again then I'm going to take R20 for the cheeks I'm going to take E000 again Blend that a little. U21 again. B00 again. Just to blend. I'm going to take my um, colorless blender because I got all the lines out here. Though I don't think that's going to matter because I am going to paper piece most likely yeah but still just so you can see and also in her eye I went in a little in her eye so I'm just gonna take the color away there that part of her eye should be completely white and there you go now for her tights um, that I'm going to do it's I want it to look so their skin underneath the tights and that the tights are a little bit um, translucent. I'm going to try that. I've never done that before. But again, so it looks like she's crossing her legs. And if the light's coming this way and, and she's crossing her legs, then this is going to be dark here. This is going to be dark. And then both of these areas here are going to be light. So taking my E00. I'm just going to put down a base. Then taking E21, I'm going to do some feathering underneath there because obviously um, the sh shadow from the coat. And then over here a little because it's crossing just a little bit there and then right there 
taking E000 just to blend that out. Just a little there. I don't have to be too precise because I'm going to go over with a gray color to um, make the appearance of the tights. I'm still going to go back with E21. Shade in a little bit in here. I'm being a little messy. But it's okay because I believe I'm going to cut her out. So, again, going back with my E triple zero, I'm just going to blend the edges and flick out so it's nice and smooth. And just because I'm a little anal, I'm going to co come back with my colorless blender and fix this right here. Push all that ink in and over here. Just because. I'm going to do here again the top. And I'm just pushing the um, ink in with my finger and also drying it faster because of the warmth of my finger. That's something I learned from Christy from Some Odd Girl. She's awesome. Alright, so then I'm going to go over with W1 and hopefully this works out because I've never done this before. So I'm just going to go over the entire leg area just so it looks like she has tights on over her skin there you go hope you could see the effect Right there and I'm going to use a blue violet for some stark shadows using a BV000 marker looks like that and that's just for dark dark stark shadows like for underneath her hair And I'm going to go back with my, because I want a little bit more contrast, I'm going to go with E21. And again, just do a little bit more. Okay, so now for the hair. The hair is going to be a little scary because there's a lot of lines going on but all you have to do is kind of visualize um, which parts of the hair are in the back and which parts are in the front it's a little hard to do sometimes but we'll see what we'll do we'll start little by little so I'm gonna start with E51 and I'll continue and speed it up
with the hair and I'm happy with the skin and I've already cut into um, some paper and I'm using where is it I'm using the um, Winter Park collection by um, Echo Park so I've already cut some pieces um, and I'm gonna get to do that right now alright so I've gone ahead and paper piece the image and I know for a fact that I'm gonna go over the tights again because they're not dark enough you know it looks like skin I want it to look like tight so I'm gonna go over that too and I'm going to color in her purse so I'm gonna do that now and then I'm also gonna do some shading on her paper pieced clothing so that's what I'm gonna do now Alright, so I'm done coloring her and now I'm going to um, put the cart together. I've already cut everything that I'm going to use. I use some Spellbinders dies and I also just cut stuff with my trimmer. So again, I'm using the Winter Park collection by Echo Park. And um, nah, let's get to it.
Alright everyone, so this is the finished card. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and again I'm going to put the link down below to Sweet Nothing Stamp Company's Facebook page so you can go ahead and read the instructions on how to get Uptown Sophie for free. Um, the offer is available for the month of November and after November the Digi image will be available for purchase. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Here's the inside, very simple. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.